Welcome back. This is part two of my video on how I balance propellers on airplanes, helicopters, and anything else like a fan. Or So this equipment can be used on just about anything. So I built a, uh, a little test rig here. I bought a, uh, a disc sander and I drilled a whole bunch of holes in the disc and I mounted screws on them corresponding to the uh, to, a, to a clock so this thing rotates in the same direction as a propeller on a normal airplane so your clock angles are measured from where your magnetic or your vibration sensor is mounted and I've mounted it at 12 o'clock which is the normal position on a piston engine airplane so as you can see I've got a target that I've mounted on the on the disc it's a reflective target that's the uh, optical sensor that gives it the position and uh, I recommend building something like this because I don't balance propellers often enough to remember how to do it and I don't know whether my equipment's working and it's a great way to train without having to run an airplane it's a total waste of time to start a turbine helicopter or a turbine airplane up uh, just to learn how to do it so my recommendation is building a, a rig similar to this you got to be careful I had to put some uh, foam padding and some rubber blocks underneath this thing to isolate it from the table to make it work correctly so you have to make sure the unit is working correctly and then remember what you did see I I wrote it right down on here <laughs> foam mat must be and the rubber rubber blocks are required so that's how I can remember that I need to do that anyway so what I'd like to do on the Honeywell Vibrex 2000 is I use the track and balance mode I don't like the automatic mode that much I'll do a video later of the automatic mode but generally I don't do it I seem to have to run the the engine way more time you know an extra time or two times to get it into balance whereas guessing the weight because of experience seems to work better so I'm gonna acquire on channel 1a which I've got this the, the uh, wires connected to at the top and I'll turn the machine on there are no weights on this I know it's balanced but I'm just gonna check it so that when I start off so right now it's telling me it's running at 1900, 1,792 RPM, and that's just from the vibration sensor. That's what's telling me that. And uh, when the RPM is steady, we'll push start. So right now it's vibrating at 0 0.03 IPS, which is inches per second, at 152 clock angle. That's the heavy spot. It always tells you where the heavy spot is so that you can in your mind know where you're gonna to have to add weight it's always gonna be opposite that so it's balanced pretty good right now so let's put it out of balance and then put it back in balance just to make sure that the machine and the vibration sensors are accurate so what I'll do is I'll do a, an easy balance just to check it so always line up your optical sensor And I'm going to put it out of balance with one washer at the 12 o'clock position. I'll turn it on and I can feel it vibrating. So I'll just redo the measurement. RPM is steady. Push start. So right now it's vibrating at 0.48 IPS and the clock angle, the heavy spot is 1210, which corresponds to where I put the weight. So that's making sense so we know that parts working and we'll take and we'll just install a weight opposite that we'll go to the six o'clock position with the same amount of weight and it should go back into balance again so if that's working we're ready to go I, I would install it on an airplane and and go but if you're just practicing and you want to learn how to do it you need to do a whole bunch more so Redo the measurement. When the RPM is steady, we'll push start. 
And there, as you can see, a 0 0.03 IPS at 150. So it went right back where it was. So let's do a, a typical airplane out of balance. Typically it's not 90 degrees and it's not lined up with the blades. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll put it out of balance part way in between like the two o'clock position. Let's try the two o'clock position. So we'll put it out of balance. I'll use two weights so that we can put it back into balance easily. At the two o'clock position, we'll turn it on. It's gonna vibrate like hell. There, it's shaking the table. Redo the measurement. When it's steady, push start. I gotta hold my thing. Okay, it's vibrating at 0.79 IPS at two o'clock. So it corresponds to where we put it. We wouldn't, uh, we wouldn't try and balance this if this was an airplane. That's uh, well over the limit. We, there's something wrong. Either the engine's broken or the propellers got so far out of balance that you wouldn't want to fly it anyway. But if this was your fan in your living room, you're going you're gonna to balance it. So what you would do is you would put a weight on it, a trial weight, opposite that. So we know that's at 2 o'clock, so we're going to take 8 o'clock position. So just because we know we're, we're not going to make it hard, we're going to put half the weight on right now. So in my mind, I should have, have half the vibration approximately. So that was 0.79, so 0.8 approximately of, of inches per second. 0.8 inches per second of vibration. So we'll redo it. RPM is steady. Push start. 0.43 so that is we've taken slightly more than half of the vibration out I don't know actually it's the other way around it's still vibrating slightly half it's a little more than half vibrating so and it's the clock angle is still it moved a bit but it's still around two o'clock we don't have any choice uh, I don't know how accurate I drilled those holes so that eight o'clock may not be exactly eight o'clock. I didn't. I just did it by by eye. I didn't uh, really line this thing all up with a laser or anything. So it corrected it by roughly a half. So we just need to double the weight. So I'll put another washer on in the same spot. I'll turn it back on, and that should bring us back into balance. So. Redo, when the RPM is steady, I can feel there's no vibration. There it is, 0 0.03 at 122, which is right back where we started. So as you can see, it's a, a really great way to become familiar with the unit. You can do a whole bunch of combinations. You can split weights. You can do all sorts of things. I'll just do one more thing here, just to show you what can happen so we we put our weights on there what if we couldn't get the weights on because the propeller was in the way we couldn't put a weight on here say it was out of balance here and we couldn't put a weight on let's see what happens there So it's vibrating at 0 0.08 IPS, and the heavy spot is at 3 o'clock. So we know it's not perfect, but 0.2 is acceptable for an airplane. So you could fly, but let's try and make it a little better. I'm worried on my thumb here. Wonder what happens if we we'll just we'll exaggerate it. Let's let's double the weight on those two points and see how bad it makes it. It'll probably go off the clock and go the other way. But we'll do that just for fun. So yeah, it's out of balance. But let's just see what happened because you know you, you're learning how to do it. There it is. It moved the uh, it moved it over to uh, nine o'clock. It made it really bad. It's 0.6 IPS. 
and it's at nine o'clock now. So you can see what happens, but you just keep playing with it until you get it figured out. Like I say, I always do this before I go to an airplane. I've been doing this for 40 years now, and uh, generally on, say, a Cessna 185 or something like that, I can generally get the balance into an acceptable range in uh, three runs, and then generally you have to move the weight after that, and that's uh, this thing here will do the calculation on it for you, but generally you just add some weight to it and it makes it all right. Anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Have a good day.